here it is the Optiplex GX620 if you've not seen my other video about this computer then uh, it's up in the right hand corner right now so if you do want to watch it later then please do so this is a Pentium 4 machine that uh, well I was given and it's okay for running a few old games but let's uh, let's have a quick listen to what happens when we switch it on Hmm, it's quite noisy, to say the least. The fan is running extremely loud, and uh, as you use the PC, it does get even louder. So what I'm going to do today is, first of all, clean it up and replace the fan with something a bit quieter. And we will see what we can get out of the machine. Seeing things here, I'm not Ashen's, this is a brown sofa but it's not his. Um, so what we're going to do is take a look inside and to clean out the system and maybe make the case look a little bit smarter. So the first thing we do, with all, as we do with all these Dell machines, is pop the lid off there. So we did, we did clean this out on the other video, it's not, it's not too bad in there. But the fan is very noisy, so we're at least going to look at replacing that. So, first thing we'll do is just take the machine apart, which I shall do now. Not got any anti-static uh, wristband on or anything like that. Yes, you already know how I roll. That's not how I do things. So we'll get this uh, <laughs> IDE CD-ROM drive out there. Wow. Manufactured date May 2006. Don't know if you can see that. I can't quite get the focus, but yeah, it does say that. 12 years old. We'll take the RAM out. Don't forget folks, I got this for free, so I don't want you whinging about um, I'm not looking after it properly. So each each stick here is a gigabyte. There's one, there's a second one, and third one, and fourth one. You probably can't read those, but never mind, just pop them to one side. We'll take the uh, floppy drive out. I actually replace this with, um, with something a bit more appropriate as I don't really use or have any floppies so it's a bit of a bit of a waste really so I don't know when this was manufactured oh May 2006 again I really don't know if that's focused but never mind toss that to one side oh some relics in here we then got a Seagate Barracuda, 500 gigabytes inside here, and can't remember how to get the drives out of here, but I'll do that in a moment. So we'll take some of these wires out that we're not now using. So a bit of floppy and the ID cable out can find the opposite end. Aha. So there's a floppy cable. And just untangle the ID cable. Also manufactured May 2006. We'll take the riser card out, once I can find the little handle, so I don't know if you've seen this on the other video but there's a, a full size 
uh, PCI Express slot here um, and full height as well so you can get a full graphics card in there you don't need to get low profile which is quite unusual for these uh, but very handy right what else have we got uh, I will take processor and fan out I might actually leave the, uh, the processor in don't really need to take it out We'll see how dirty the uh, the motherboard is. See how much of a good job I did last time. So there we go. Got the heatsink off there. You can see through there. Look, there's my hand. Far too much cooling paste. Whichever idiot put that on there needs uh, needs educating. Not by you, the viewer, because I'll just troll you. Okay, so what do we want to do next? We want to take this fan unit out. So it's one of these unusual ones where the entire front comes off. So how are we going to get this off? That I can't remember. Beaker. Aha! So the whole thing just clips out. I'm going to disconnect the fan first to make sure I don't break it. And with a little bit of wiggling, the whole thing comes out. So as you can see, very dirty fan. Not, uh, not going to keep that one in there. We're going to replace that with something else. So, for reference, if you can see, that is the model number. You might have to zoom in there. And just disconnect the power supply. from the motherboard okay so looking in there other than the cooling paste that needs sorting out it's not too bad I did a fairly good job of cleaning it last time so in the interests of speeding things up speeding matters up I'm not going to clean it out again so I'm going to take everything out of the case so that we can um, respray the case and give it a better paint job. So I'll do I'll do the rest off camera because it's not very interesting. I'm just taking the motherboard out and uh, making sure that paint won't touch any of the components. So I'll be back soon. Et voila, we have an empty case. So I'm just going to go outside and give this thing a paint job. Back soon. Right, okay. So I have the fan assembly here which is the fan that's making a heck of a lot of noise. It's very dusty and old and I'm assuming it's the original part. So we're going to replace it with uh, this. So this is an Arctic F9TC. So this is, here are the specs on the back of the box. Pause it if you uh, would like to read all of that. Thank you very much. Get that out of the way. Um, so this fan is a 92mm fan which will or should replace the one in here. Now what you will see is a proprietary 
uh, connector that Dell use for their fans to make you buy their fans from them and what you'll find on the Arctic one is a standard connector which isn't compatible so there we go for reference you can see them both they're both very different wired differently um, so what do we do well I'll tell you what we do we get one of these which is a converter so this will take the standard fan connector and convert it to a Dell connector these are quite cheap on eBay there's not many uh, sellers that actually sell them I only managed to find one that would ship to the UK um, but they are cheap and they are very good uh, at what they do so I'll just show you what what we need to do so you will you will see here I just have to change the focus a little bit and come on camera it's not happening I have to move it away there we go so as you can see there's a little notch in there and that matches the notch on the standard connector so plug that in there it just slides in nicely and then we know it's wired up correctly there we go lovely stuff and then the other end will attach to the motherboard as the existing connector would so there we go both exactly the same so next thing we need to do is get the new fan out of the way we need to fix well sorry remove the fan from the chassis so they've got these little rubber things that just pull in it's supposed to absorb vibrations but they're not doing a very good job at the moment so we take that out and then we have the old 92 centimeter fan 92 centimeter 92 millimeter fan 92 centimeters would be massive um, and we need to remove these rubber connector thingies from uh, oh I did that off camera so I'll just show you on the next one so these just give them a pull and they come out ready to attach to the new fan so I'll do that with all four number three number four and then we can discard the old fan see it oh it's still in the camera uh, it's going in the bin somewhere so I'm just going to clean the uh, the chassis off camera to get all the the dust off it there we go that's now clean ish so we now need to get the new fan just align the uh, the corners up so I think it would be best if we don't have loads and loads of wire fed through here. So I'll just slot those through. There is a temperature sensor on this fan. I'm not actually sure what's going to happen with that once I connect it all up. But I'll just pop all of that through. Hopefully that will fit. With a bit of force that's going to fit, I hope. Now what we're going to have to do, disconnect that and push the adapter back through because the bigger end of the adapter will not fit. So if I put our new fan through there and also the temperature sensor through there, then we can attach the adapter again at the other side so it doesn't have to go through the hole, it won't fit through. So I will actually uh, leave quite a lot of cable hanging about, I can always cable tie that. Oh, I've forgotten to um, put these screws back in. Make sure you do put the fan in the right way. So <laughs> this fan, its task is to pull the cool air through the front of the case. So if you are unsure which way around you need to put it, then you can look on the back of this box here and just down here it will show you the airflow direction so I think I'm actually doing it the wrong way around <laughs> excellent that's a great start oh no actually no that is right because this is the back of the chassis 
that we are looking at. If I do it wrong, it doesn't matter. The system will just get a bit hot, <laughs> to say the least. So I'll just put all these four little whatever you'd call them in. Almost there. And the last one. They just pull through, as you can see, like that. And we'll pull all this wire through. Push the fan in. And then we need to reattach these. So you pull them inwards. And then they should just push back out to attach to the chassis. So I'll show you that on this next one. If I can get my fingers into it. As the actress said to the bishop. No, I can't do that one now. This is actually quite tricky. Very tricky in fact. <laughs> A lot more difficult than it was the other way. There we go. That's number two. And I'm just going to start showing a screwdriver in there to pull them through. That hasn't helped at all. A bit of brute force will probably sort it out. There we go, that's number three. And the final one, easiest of the lot, typical. There we go. So we now have a nice new quiet fan attached to this chassis. So, with a bit of luck now. The um, PC case should be dry. I can start putting it all back together again. Right, okay, so nearing the end of the project here. Um, my my decent camera has actually run out of um, of battery, but I want to get this done, so... Uh, I just wanted to tell you about an upgrade that I'm, um, I'm making to the PC. So what I'm actually going to do is put put this in in there, which is a let's see if I can remember HD five four fifty with five hundred twelve megabytes of DDR three. Now I know what you're going to say it's uh, a really underpowered rubbish old card, but I don't really care. I just want to add HDMI into uh, the back of the the PC so that is why I am uh, putting this in I got this really cheap actually from uh, your favorite and my favorite computer exchange um, so really nice price I got it for about 650 I think it was so really pleased with that my goodness what a fine specimen right all I need to do now is get everything back into it so I'm gonna do this super quickly Oh, well, it's going to take me ages, but you're going to see it super quickly. Right, so really quickly before my camera dies, um, I am just going to fit the card. So, very similar to uh, what I've done before. So, on the riser card, we just take one of the panels out and we can get it in. Push the card into the riser. Woo! Try and do it on camera, but it's a bit faffy. There we go. So that's in there. That wasn't really on camera, but yeah, that's in there now. So I just put the clip down. It'll go. For some reason it won't. And sorry, I'm way off camera there some reason this won't slot in there we go so that's in nicely 
So I'll just fit that into the case. And that is pretty much it. Just put the lid back on. So, you can't really see that. <laughs> so here we have it, the stone. PC. First things first then, will it switch on and will it be quieter than it was? Yes it will switch on and it is virtually silent. That fan is running but you can hardly hear anything. So there we go. What an absolutely brilliant improvement. So, there's only one thing for it. Let's see if it can run Fortnite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. That fan I'm using is not a PWM fan. This is not going to work. When I switched the system on, the processor got ridiculously hot. So, uh, yeah, I've used the wrong fan. Um, sorry, guys. But, I also have an Arctic PWM fan. Woohoo! Same size fan, different connection. This time we've got the four pins and a pass through in case we want to add more fans to the PC. This is the model of fan you need. So it's an F9 PWM PST. So we'll get this open and we will swap the fans over so that we don't have an overheating PC. We're going to need the screwdriver again to take the front off well take the processor out nope take the heat sink out get there in the end so we'll quickly do that should really have taken the the motherboard out but with a bit of positive mental attitude you can get the fan out so next thing we need to do is pull back the little rubber things and pull the fan back through remove each of the rubber fixings and get the proper correct fan that we actually can use with the correct connection the PWM connection which will enable the motherboard to control the speed of the fan depending on the temperature of the processor so we'll push push those through if they will fit yes they will just fit eventually or maybe not The uh, additional connector has been a bit troublesome, but we're there. Not uh, thought this one through at all. Need to wrap the wire around. And push it in. And silly me, I should have put these in first. So, yeah, let's do that now <laughs> you need to pull them through from the other side if you remember from earlier in the video uh, let's do that again so if you remember we pull these out or rather in towards the center and they hold the fan in nicely 
and hopefully prevent vibrations because it's made of rubber. Just one more to go. Ah, two more because I've just pulled that out. Why do they make it so difficult? Ha ha! And then we need to plug the correct connection into our adapter. Da da! And then we need to reattach the fan. And of course, the speaker. Let's try that again. Right then, let's fire the beast up and let's see if it'll run Fortnite. There we go, so it's running a lot quieter than before, which is great news. Right then, here goes. Oh, heck. This is not looking good. <laughs> ah! Well, let's see if we can land and we might find <laughs> that the frame rate improves a little bit. It's not looking too good though. Let's see what happens when we land. It also looks terrible. I've, uh, I've put all the settings as low as I can possibly get them. And it just... Oh, heck. Yeah, you can't really run Fortnite on a Pentium 4. <laughs> Why I thought you'd be able to, I have no idea. But it was fun. I think I'm going to use this PC just to run games from the early 2000s. Oh dear. Anyway, on that bombshell, I'm going to go. If you've not subscribed to my channel, then please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And I'd love to hear your reactions to this video in the comments. And also, if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you hated the video, click the thumbs down. I'll see you next time.